Hi, the Alabama SWAT Foundation needs your help and support. Well, this is all about the men and women who train to keep you safe. This new nonprofit is raising money to help them get that training. Our Shelby County reporter, Anjane Robinson, joins us live at 5 to explain how folks can help. Well, Jonathan and Sarah, in an effort to help law enforcement agencies around the state, a group of officers got together and started the Alabama SWAT Foundation. Now, their mission is to help departments pay for that expensive training they need to better protect the community. We're trying to grow and, uh, and, and stretch out as much as we can. We want to benefit as many uh, police officers and as a, as a part of that, also the community as possible. Pittman says because these trainings are expensive, they're working to cut the costs by giving departments the funds they need to get more officers trained. Uh, so we're trying to get them into additional like leadership training, uh, planning training, um, decision making. Uh, we've got some uh, mental health training and uh, even some physical fitness stuff that we're trying to do, trying to trying to make a well-rounded law enforcement professional. Pittman says the funds raised from this event will cover training for not only SWAT officers, but police officers. Our pledge basically to the community is to give 10% of everything that we make to the, the overall law enforcement community. Now Saturday is their kickoff event where they're looking for the community to get involved and engaged. So Saturday is going to be our first event with Alabama SWAT Foundation. It's going to be here at Broxcat Brewery. We're having a 5K, going to kick off at 625. We have five divisions for everyone is welcome to come running them. Part of the course will be on a trail and will feature a team division that anyone can sign up for. Now you'll be wearing a 35 pound backpack and race against active SWAT members. Now, Saturday's event is free. However, the foundation is looking for donations through their silent auction, raffle or cash contributions. Um, and that event will only include the 5K, but will also include some live music as well as some awards. Reporting live from Shelby County, Ajne Robinson, WBRC, Fox 6 News on your side.